Hey guys, welcome to PyTop HQ. We've got something really exciting to show you today. We're going to be comparing the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 with the now slightly old Raspberry Pi 2. So this guy's got some new upgrades we're going to be looking at, starting with the processor, which is a next-gen quad-core Broadcom 2837 chip. Yeah, quite a mouthful there. Um, so basically we're moving away from ARM v7 architecture, which was on the Raspberry Pi 2, to ARM v8 architecture, which is on the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, so now we've got a 64-bit chip, which basically means you're able to access a larger area of memory at once. Um, data moves around slightly differently. Uh, but what that means for you is most of your applications are going to be running a fair bit quicker. Um, also, you get a speed increase from the clock speed going up from 900 megahertz to 1.2 gigahertz. Pretty quick. There are some other new features worth mentioning. Now we have onboard Wi-Fi, and we've also got uh, built-in Bluetooth for better connectivity. Yeah, so previously, if you wanted to connect to Wi-Fi, you'd have to buy a Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, now there's no need anymore. Um, you're ready to go for Wi-Fi as soon as you've got the, the Pi. Um, also, the Bluetooth is a fantastic uh, addition, because if you want to connect to your phone or any other Bluetooth devices, you can straight off the bat. Cool. Uh, another great thing about the new Pi 3 is it's the same low price as the previous Pi 2, and you can pick one of these up right now at pytop.com. Okay. So let's compare the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Pi 2 side by side. So this is the Pi 3 and this is the Pi 2. Firstly, let's look at some of the similarities. They both share four USB ports, an Ethernet port, a combination audio visual jack, camera interface, HDMI out, micro USB, display interface, and 40 GPIO pins. They also share the same four mounting points. Now let's have a look at some of the differences. If you have a look on the Raspberry Pi 3, you can see this small Bluetooth chip. And if I flip them over, you can see on the back of the Raspberry Pi 3, you have this Wi-Fi chip. Other than that, the Pi 3 and the Pi 2 share the same form factor and look pretty much the same. Up comparison between the Raspberry Pi 2, which is in the grey Pi Top Seed on the left, and the Raspberry Pi 3, which is in the green Pi Top Seed on the right. So we're going to boot them up simultaneously and start a timer. You can see the four raspberries in the top left hand corner showing that this is a quad core processor. And the Pi 3 already seems to be moving a bit faster. And there we have it 22.7 seconds to boot up. Still waiting on the Pi 2. And just under 32 seconds so you can see that the Pi 3 is considerably faster 9 seconds there or thereabouts pretty impressive so now we're going to be comparing the browsing capability between the Pi 2 which is in the grey Pi top seed on the left and the Pi 3 which is in the green Pi top seed on the right what we're going to do is open up YouTube and select the same video. And you can already see that the Pi 3 scrolls much smoother. Once we've selected the video, we allow it to play for five seconds. And then we maximize it. Pi 3 already in the lead there by a few seconds. To catching up now. A little bit glitchy, but not too bad. So you can see that you're getting a much smoother and much faster browsing experience with the new Raspberry Pi 3. Thanks for watching, and remember you can buy your Raspberry Pi 3 right now at pytop.com. <laughs>